Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the logo image file. Which I am going to use in this demonstration. So without any wait, let's start with creating the logo reveal. Create a new composition. Name it as logo reveal. Height and width will be the same. Here I will set the time duration to 8 seconds. Here we will create a new solid. It will be our background layer. For this solid layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to solid layer. Here you can set background color of your choice. Ramp shape to radial ramp. Here I will set start of ramp to center end of ramp to outside of frame ramp scatter value to 300 now let's add logo to the timeline scale your logo if needed here i will scale my logo now pre-compose the logo layer name it as logo select move all attribute to new composition now let's create a new solid layer. Here I will name it as mask. For this mask layer, search for fill. Add fill to mask layer. Set fill color to white. For this mask layer, we will create mask shapes. Select the rectangle tool. Now you need to create mask as shown. For mask layer, search for motion tile. Add it to mask layer. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. At end of the timeline, change tile center value for x axis as shown. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of this logo composition. Place it above mask layer, for mask layer, change track mat to, alpha mat logo. For mask layer, press T to bring up opacity. Change opacity to 20%. For mask layer, search for fast box blur. Add it to mask layer. Set blur radius to 7. You can see the preview. Select all the three layers. Pre-compose them. Here I will name it as glossy logo layer. We will use this composition as shadow layer. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as 3D logo. Now let's add glossy layer logo composition to the timeline. Change it to 3D. Now search for bevel alpha. 
added to logo composition. Set edge thickness to 8. Light angle to 0. Light intensity to 0 0.50. Here we will create 20 duplicates of this layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. For above duplicate, you can hide the bevel alpha or remove it. For all created duplicate composition, we will change the position value for z-axis. For each composition, we will increase position value by 2. This will create the 3D layers of logo. Perfect. Now let's add this composition to Logo Reveal Composition. For 3D logo composition, change it to Collapse Transformation. Now let's change the glossy layer to Shadow Layer. Search for Fill. Add it to Glossy Composition. Change fill to black color. Search for CC Radial Fast Blur. Add it to Glossy Logo Layer. Change center value for Y axis to 0. Change amount to 85. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to logo layer. For alpha channel, adjust the curves as shown. Change glossy logo layer to 3D. Now create a new adjustment layer. Search for fast blur. Add it to adjustment layer. Add one second, create keyframe for blurriness. At start of the timer line, change blurriness to 30. Select repeat edge pixels. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as mask. Select ellipse tool. Create mask as shown. Select Invert. For Mask 1, increase Mask Feather. Increase Mask Expansion. Perfect. Set Opacity to 80%. Now create a new adjustment layer. Search for curves. Add it to adjustment layer. Slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now let's create a new camera layer. Create a new null object. Change null object to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null. Press S to bring up scale. Create keyframe for scale. Change scale value as shown. At end of the timer line. Change scale to 100%. Now select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. 
Now press R to bring up rotation. At 2 seconds. Create keyframe for X and Y rotation. At start of the timer line, change X rotation to minus 45 degrees. Y rotation to minus 35 degrees. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's add lens flare to this logo reveal. Create a new solid layer. Name it as lens. Now search for lens flare. Add it to lens layer. Change lens type to 105 mm prime. Here we will change the center of flare. Create keyframe for flare center. Now at end of the timer line, change flare center as shown. You can see the preview. Change blend with original value to 30%. Let's change mode to add. Now let's create duplicate of this lens. For duplicate, we will change the lens center. For first keyframe, change flare center as shown. For second keyframe, change flare center as shown. You can see the preview. For both lens layer, change opacity to 70%. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Double click on the rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1. Change mask path. Change unit to percent of source. Change top to 10%. Change bottom to 90%. Change mode to invert. Let's see the final preview. Perfect. Here our 3D logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.